Hello, and welcome to another episode of Exact Tax, a video series by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about the project name slash insured name viewing options. First, let's thank this week's sponsor. This week's video is brought to you by Cleaning and Restoration Magazine. CNR Magazine is a legacy publication independently serving and partnering with the restoration and cleaning industry. Today, CNR features a bi-monthly print magazine, as well as a robust online presence, including web-exclusive articles, videos, podcasts, industry news updates, and more. Subscribe for free at cnrmagazine.com. All right, as you can see here, I have X1 open, and I want to talk about this name column here. Because when you first open X1, as many of you are as you transition to the newest version of the Xactimate software, you will see a column here that just says name. Now, in X28, we had multiple columns, two in particular, one for a project name and one for insured name, made it easier to see everything. But by default, X1 combines those into one column, such that when I take a look at Test Johnny here and I hit the Edit button, you will see that my insured name is Test Johnny, but the project name is Test Month. The only name that actually shows up here that I can see is the insured name. Now, I don't know how you organize or name your estimates, but I'm not always looking at the insured name. I often have a project name that I wanna be able to look at, click on, verify that that's the project that I'm working on. So, under the Preferences tab in X1, at the very top there is General. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see this Project List View with Display Project Name and Insured Name. You can either display project name only or insured name only if that's all you want to see. But my preference is to actually click this uh, little checkbox over here to separate those columns so that you can see both of them in the main tab. So let's go back to local and you'll see here, now I have two columns, one for my project name, one for my insured name. Hopefully this exact tap help, helps you uh, be able to organize your Xactimate estimates, see both your project name or your insured name, or at least set up your preferences. If you only wanna see project name or only wanna ins see insured name, you can do so under that preferences tab. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like, share, subscribe wherever you're watching. Check us out at itinsights.org. Uh, good luck settling those claims out there and we will see you next week.